Well, welcome to Painting Stones. Um, I'm Jackie Naaman Jones, and this is one of my videos on some of the how to things. Um, let's get started. I'm here with my daughter in law and my brand new little grandbaby, so you might hear her in the background. She's just, um, what, three months old? Uh, well, you, you'll have to wait to see her. So, let's pick a stone. Um, I'm going for this one today. Now what we use here is just uh, acrylic paints, just cheap craft paints from your local craft store. Uh, these are some pretty decent brushes, which again, from your local craft store. Don't get the cheapest brushes because uh, the, you know, they'll fall apart and then you'll have little hairs sticking on everything you're trying to paint. Now, I got the stones here and I, I paint them white on one side. I just find that it's a better surface to paint on than raw, but you can do it any way you want. So, we have our water, we have our paints. What I always do is I, I get my brush really wet and make a little puddle. And then, you know, whatever my first color is, I'll kind of blend it just to make the paint flow a little easier. And you have a napkin, always have a napkin so you can wipe off your brush. Um, and then you just start painting. My theory on painting stones is not to think too much about it. Just to do it. I go through phases. Sometimes I'll paint flowers. Sometimes I'm just doing design work. These days, just playing with designs and stripes and dots has been my thing. But uh, I love going on Pinterest and seeing what other people do. Now when I rinse my brush, I'll usually get it wet and then I'll, you know, I'll wipe it off just so that I'm not muddying up my water too quickly. Because I'm lazy and I don't back to the kitchen for more water. How you doing, Isha? Great. I have no idea what I'm painting. I'm just kind nope. of putting paint on the rock. Great. That's no what I do. That's what I do. My dad was a professional, well, not professional. He was a wonderful artist. He did a lot of things, but um, with his art, the best thing he ever told me when he started teaching me about painting was, it's just paint, it dries. Especially these acrylics, they dry so quickly. If you don't like what you did, give it a minute and then paint over it. Ooh, that's fun. Yeah, it looks great. I like the colors. So then what I do is, or what we do, is we go out and after we've painted stones, we go leave them somewhere for somebody to find. It's become quite a trend. Um, I personally have been doing it for a few years and then I start seeing it everywhere on Facebook. I have people saying, look, your idea, look. I said, well, it's like any really good idea. They pop up in different places at the same time. But if you go on Pinterest or Facebook, you'll find rock painting um, images and groups all over the place. Yeah, it's calming, something fun to do. It is. It's very zen for me. It makes me happy. I do this in the evening sometimes when I'm trying to watch TV, which is ridiculous because how can you watch TV? <laughs> I was thinking, you know, this is a fun project to do with kids too, especially, you know, when it's not um, the greatest of weather outside because it's not, this is something you can do inside. That's Keep true. Them Very much so. As a mom of three, I think about these things. And then when you do have a nice day, you can go out and leave them somewhere. Yeah, or put it in your rock collection like my nine-year-old. Yes. She prefers to keep them. She does. And that's okay. That's why I get her containers and things to, to collect her, for her collections. Because she's like me. When I was young, I collected all kinds of things, like rocks. 
And those are some of the uh, things we're going to be teaching here too, is um, repurposing things, making containers out of other things to keep your collections or right. to give as gifts. In fact, I'm going to do a little teaser here right now for one of our next classes. I'm not even going to say what this is made of, but I made these a long time ago. It has a little, um, little envelope in here so you can even have a little tag for somebody. So cute. And it has a Velcro stop. And look, I put a rock in there to give as a gift. So that's something we'll be making in one of these videos down the road. Ooh, I'm liking how this is going. I think I'm going to reach over to that plate. We've got little baby grandbabies. She's doing so good. She's, She's just watching. watching. Very happy. Let's see. Well, I'll have to use some more too. Just to get the, all the colors to go. Like I said, it's just paint. If you don't like something you did, just give it a minute to dry and paint over it. The other thing is, <clears throat> it's not like your materials are expensive. So if you go out and find some free rocks, I'll tell you, even if you paint something that you don't like, if you leave it out for somebody to find, they're going to be thrilled when they find it. Let's see. I have no idea what this is, but it's a something. Well, I'm liking it. I'm liking it. Yeah? Something abstract. You know what I didn't bring out today was the toothpicks. Because sometimes with doing dots, I mean, sometimes I just do it with the tip of the paintbrush, but it's hard to get a real round dot, although I'm apparently getting better at it. I think the key is not to get too much paint on your paintbrush. But another way to get nice dots is to take like a toothpick and just break it in half and then tamper down the end, you know, the broken end, so it's not rough. And then if you dip it in your paint, you can get dots. You could do that with the tip of your paintbrush, too. Like, see? See? Like that. Oh, that's a nice dot. Hey. I'm getting all excited. <laughs> so when you're done, after it dries, I have found that they look even better if you do a clear coat. So if you have, like, a clear sealer or... What's easiest, and many women have this, is just clear fingernail polish. And you can just do a quick coat. It'll seal the paint, but it also gives it a nice sheen. Kylie's talking. And I'm about done with mine. Because I'm going to snuggle the baby. It looks beautiful. Well, we'll come back. We'll show our finished products in a little bit and all the other rocks that we have made. And thank you for being here with us today.